Hello. In this video, I wanted to look at the issue of timing. Now, this has been top of my mind because I've had a few people recently have said to me they've been really struggling with timing when they're speaking. And by timing, I'm not really meaning here about sort of comic timing or things, but actually speaking to the right length. If you've been told that you need to speak for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 45 minutes, maybe even longer, you need to make sure you stick to time. Now, you can always come in a bit under. I don't think coming under is necessarily an issue. That presentation was too short, said no one ever. So I don't think it's necessarily an issue for coming under because you can always just go to questions and then your audience can actually sort of dictate what they want to hear about. The big issue though is running over. So if you are gonna run over, you've got all sorts of problems. A, your audience will start getting restless because they know how long you're meant to be speaking for. It'll probably be in the program in front of them that you are meant to do half an hour. And suddenly you're at 40 minutes, they're gonna get restless. Your event organizer or booker or whoever has actually got you in to speak will start getting restless because they need to know that you are gonna to keep to time. You're also doing a disservice to whoever's following you. If there's another speaker following, following you, then suddenly they've got less time or they're gonna start late. So you really do need to speak to time. A couple of tips, ways to do it. Uh, first of all, I would not rely on a clock because to do that, you have to know exactly what time you stood up to speak. Now you may have in your head, oh, I'm due to speak at 10 past 12, but if the event is running slightly early or slightly late, you may not have stood up at 10 past 12. So I would really suggest you, uh, you rely on a countdown timer. Now I use an app. This is called P-Clock, P-C-L-O-C-K on iPhone. I believe it's called Presentation Clock on Android. And all it does is you can set it for a number of different times and it will then count down uh, what you're, how much time you've got left. I tend to have it set. So if I'm doing a half hour talk at five minutes, it goes to yellow numerals. At one minute, it goes to red numerals. And then if you get to zero, it will then start counting up in big flashing red numerals, which tells you tells me that I've overrun. Uh, doesn't happen very often, very occasionally. I will do a little bit. Um, so you really do. I think that's a really excellent app to use. It's called P Clock or Presentation Clock. It's about 99p on the App Store. Um, it has dug me out of a hole a number of times, and I have a number of different lengths of timers set on here. It means you do have to remember to, to hit play as you go on um, to start it. And then I just tend to put it on a table or um, even on the floor or on a lectern, somewhere around me. Very occasionally, I will actually ask somebody sat in the front row to hold it. And I'll sometimes make a feature of it. And I'll say, oh, look, this is my timer. Can you hold this? It means I can see it out the corner of my eye. And at the end, I'll often ask for it back and count down the last few seconds. Say, look, there we go, finished on time. So you do need to have something to count down. Now, if you're in a big conference, a lot of conferences will actually have countdown timers in front of you and to be preset for you but make sure you keep your eye on it and make sure that you do know when you are due to finish. The other thing you can do is have a countdown timer on your phone in your pocket with a vibration uh, when you reach time or maybe what, two or three minutes before you reach time so you've got time to wrap up. So timing is important. You really do need to speak to time. Coming in a little bit under, I don't think so much of an issue. You can always go to questions. Going over is a big issue. So make sure you've also timed your content beforehand. You know how long it's going to take to deliver. And most people will try and put far too much content into their presentations. Strip it out, edit it, let it breathe, and better to come in just slightly under time and ba or bang on time than run over. Anyway, that's uh, just my, my thoughts on timing. Um, if you came to this video via my email newsletter, while you're here, please subscribe to my YouTube channel using the button below and hit the bell button so you get notified every time I put up new content. If you came here via YouTube, then in the description below, you will find a link to my email newsletter where you can subscribe to get a fortnightly top tip on presenting and also a roundup of the best content from around the web. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.